so far what we have going on here is this mess <laughs> so let's go ahead and give it a quick run again and you notice we have this mess here so like i said it's just not what we are looking for because who wants to do this okay likely it's a very simple fix so see what's happening here is that we have haven't set the style of our paint right so for our styles we have stroke we have different kind of styles of paint that we can use so just think of this style that i'm talking about of the paint or the brush the way i like to look at it is you could have a big brush you can have a small brush you can have a really really large brush right so in this case we have a very strange huge brush that is giving us all of this and this is not a way of doing it so if we go back to our where we actually create our paint right we have here we're setting our paint line we call this a brush we have color black we have the stroke the other property we're gonna add is going to be this style so we're gonna set what kind of of brush we want right so when I say paint dot style and you notice there's a few there's stroke there's fill there's fill and stroke so if you don't add or if you don't explicitly say what kind of brush you want it will default to fill and stroke which is what we have so we actually just want the stroke like that notice if you save and give it a run you will notice all that problem is going to be gone because look at this now oh <gasps> whoa <laughs> very nice guys look at this look at this wow isn't that amazing and if we wanted to change the stroke width we can actually say for instance 23 and if we want to change the color you can say for instance green let's see now we should see a bigger stroke and the color is going to be green and it's very responsive look at that and that's pretty much the whole app so we this is the the nucleus this is the the base of this app right which is to allow us to actually write stuff inside of our canvas here and as you can see it's working perfectly very nice let's go ahead and finish this touch ended so what happens when we end the touch well when the touch is and has ended we want to do a few things First of all, we're going to go in and say path. Okay. Call path object. I'm going to go ahead to our path map, which has all of the path. I'm going to get our pointer, so the current path here, pass it in there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to call the bitmap canvas, which is holding all of the drawing. I'm going to say draw path. I'm going to pass the path that we just created and the path line, which is the color and all this and the color and all the properties of our brush. So here, what we're doing, we just say draw to bitmap canvas object. And this one here, we're just saying get the core corresponding path okay and once all of that is done we're just going to head and reset so we're going to say path dot reset create a clear painting a clear method here i'm going to say oops void clear as such and to clear well let's go ahead and call the path map I'm going to just go ahead and call clear there's that method so what this does just removes all of the previous all of the paths such okay I'm gonna say previous point I'm gonna dot clear that does the same and then I'm gonna take our bitmap and I'm gonna erase it now you notice when you erase something you don't need to pass a color that will erase it by right so in this case we're gonna say color and make sure we say white because that's the background in a way of our canvas there in the back right it's white okay and then don't forget to call invalidate to take care of all the cleaning and refreshing the screen so I'm gonna say refresh 
the screen. And we are going to be able to use these methods once we put together all of the customizations of our application. But at least we know that the core of the app is now working. Very nice. Let's give it a run, another run here so that we can celebrate a little bit more because it was a lot of work and this is fun. Look at that. Ah, oh, very nice. Look at this. It's kind of hard for me to actually use this because I'm actually on my computer. But if you, you can imagine if you are actually on, uh, if you're running this on device, this could be, this is pretty cool, pretty amazing, isn't it? Next thing we are going to do is we're going to add a few menus here that will allow us to one, when we click on it, we should be able to erase everything. We should also be able to change, for instance, if we want this width uh, of a stroke width to be bigger, we want to be able to change the color of our stroke or our pencil or brush, right? So those are the most basic things that we need to do. So there's still a little bit of work that we need to do, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it because we're going to be learning a lot of great stuff and I can't wait to show you. The first thing I need to do here is let's go to this website here. Uh, there's a few websites online where you can get icons that you need for your applications. The best one, of course, would be the material.io icons, which is done by Google. So you can actually start uh, searching for icons that you can download and use in your applications. So I would always recommend to come here. But if you want to be a little bit more adventurous, you go to flaticon.com and you get a lot of different icons and you can search whatever you're looking for and you can then find hopefully what you're looking for. But the thing that you have to be aware of is that some of these are actually not free in a sense that uh, you either have to pay or required by law if you use these in your applications to do some sort of the attribution, meaning tell the world that you got this from this person and so forth. So that's very important to always remember as you get images online that you have to look at the license and see what is it it's asked for you to do in order to use that. Because again, this is somebody else's work and we want to be respectful of that. Okay. All right, so let's go to our materials icon here. Let's me find color first, because I just want something that represents color. I like this one. Let's click on this one. And you notice you can actually choose which colors do you want these icons to be. So if you want them to be black, or if you want them to be white. Let's start with white. So I want this to be white. I'm going to go ahead and download as a PNG. And there it is. And the next one I want is going to be this fun thing that represents, let's say, a pencil, perhaps. Let's say, pen. Is there something like this? Let's say, size. Let's go back to color. I think I saw something we could do. Let's use this one here. Although it's border color, but it's got a pencil it there, and I think that would work for us. I'm going to say white again and download. So I've got these two. Let me double click and open it. You notice it's going to open, and there we go. We have it here. So we have Android and we have iOS. Obviously, we want Android. These are different resolutions that you can use. I'm going to go ahead and use this one here. Uh, let me copy all of this into our project file. I'm going to rename this to something better. Let's see. I'm going to make this. And yes, there we go. I'm going to do the same to the other one as well that we just got. Let's see. What was it? And I'm going to put it right there. There we go. Perfect. So what are we going to do here? Let's go to our layout. Instead of resource here, I'm going to right click. I'm going to say new. We want a new Android resource directory. And this time, this is going to be a menu. Make sure it's a menu. Menu, that's all good there. Say OK. There we go. And you will see now we have a new menu folder. So right click. I'm going to create new menu resource. I'm going to call this menu very original and there we go so we can actually add here drag and drop let's see we want an actual 
let's get this menu item I'm gonna put in there and there we go and you notice we can actually start adding items to this menu the first one here if you double click you can give an ID I'm gonna say uh, I want it to be the first ID is going to be let's say color actually it's gonna be color ID the item title I'm gonna change this perhaps to I'm gonna add a new resource new string this is going to be color resource value I'm gonna say color say okay so it's gonna say color as you can see in fact let's change that resource value it's going to be and here we can choose icons click on that and click on this palette that we just added it's gonna be that the icon there we go and we want this to actually say show we want to sh this always show so notice the moment you do that it is indeed at the top over there okay and we're gonna save and the next item we're gonna add I'm gonna say add and this one is going to be save ID item title let's create a new resource save save okay and let's give an icon of save we can find something I'm sure start typing save oh look at that there is already an Android called save perfect good timing and there it is and we can just leave it there so that it only shows when we actually click there that's perfect let's keep another add another menu item this one is going to be line with and I want to make sure that this shows always so it's going to be right there that's good um, title I'm going to give it a nice title with line with such but because I actually want this to have an icon I'm gonna go and find a stroke width that we created there we go so you see there it is so we can have those two let's keep adding a few more next one is going to be erase title is going to be erase title I'm going to give a title called erase erase as such and we're going to give an icon I think we can find something like erase ah, we cannot find erase how about let's go back to our icon place delete or erase let's find erase is there such a thing is there such a thing as erase how about clear perhaps clear let me maybe we do have already clear that we can get from Android clear why not uh, how about this one sure why not let's use this one and we want this to show of course always show so it's going to be at the top there very nice let's add last one here which is going to be clear ID this is just going to be a resource clear clear go it's there 
and it's going to be inside. We don't need anything else. Very nice. So there we go. So we can have our menu that we're going to be used. In order for us to actually see this in our application, we have to do a few things. Let's go to our main activity here. We start type, typing on option selected. First of all, we need to type get the option create on create options menu as such. And we need to do also the on options item selected. Okay, just for consistency, I'm going to put this first here at the top. Oops. Perhaps I took too much. So there we go. This and there. And so we will fill this up in the next video as this video is getting a little bit too long. All right, perfect. I'll see you next.